Welcome. So this is my Tesla turbine, 4.5 inch diameter. It's got a generator on the back of it. It's got a 1090 kV, and it's a three phase output. Goes to two DC in rectifier, three phase full bridge rectifier that goes into the back of this. Really simple. That's all there is here. There's nothing underneath it. <clears throat> I don't know why this brand comes with a remote that you have to use. It, I, don't, I don't know, but it's got a remote. This will turn it on. I've got a multimeter that is connected to the piezoelectric element that's just underneath the turbine that gets the vibration of the turbine so you'll get a frequency off of this so you multiply this by 60 to get the rpm it'll be about 400 to 440 hertz which is about 25,000 uh, rpm this will give us our nozzle pressure should be some this is this is zero this is 10, this is 20, this is 30 down here. Might be about 40 if I go over it, but I don't know if that uh, counts if it goes over that. This is the tank pressure. It's a little under 120 PSI. Got a 600 watt light load. Well, 600 watt load, that is a Home Depot light. It's not a light load. If you're ready, I'm going to just start going. It's an interesting sound. So it worked. We are at 80 PSI on the tank. There is a 80 gallon, a 90 gallon, or 80 gallon, a 60 gallon, a 30 gallon, and a 20 gallon, which is 190 gallons total. It was at 120, went down to 180. I will do the math do, 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 up in the numbers or here or there or whatever but 600 watt load that much compressed air from the turbine next up is 100 or next up is 850 watts 